Are we the sons of God? When are we sons and daughters of God? And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be like him. Hold on. It's like you now, black Nigerian, black African. And you see the white Briton, British man, British woman, or American, white, with the air so different. And then you say, you know, I had a promise that I will be like that American. When you look at me, I will be like him. The people who hear you will laugh. But you know, Christ is more than British, more than American, and it's more than when he was here on earth. Now he is in heaven, glorified, beautiful, wonderful. And when Christ comes, you, what are you? You will be like him. And when the angels see you, they look at you, they look at Christ. They say, why are they so similar? Why are they looking the same? It's supernatural as well as superlative grace of God. It must happen to you. Yeah. Beloved now, are we the sons of God? And it does not yet appear. You cannot imagine now what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. You will get to heaven. When you get to heaven, you will not only see angels, you will see your Lord. You will not only see the believers who have gone ahead of us, you will see Jesus Christ. And when you see Jesus, you'll forget all the pain and all the trouble you endured in the way as you are going to the promised land. You will forget your sorrows. You'll forget your problems. You'll forget all the earthly circumstances that led you there. You will see the Lord. Verse 3, And every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. Purifies himself. That's my problem. How can I purify myself to the point that I will be like him? You don't understand the language. When you tell your son, your daughter, go well, and clean up yourself. You don't mean with his bare hand, with her bare hand, go clean up, go wash up. What you mean is... There's water, you provided the water. What you mean is the sponge, you provide you have provided the small. What you mean is you provided the detergent and the soap. You provided everything. Go in there, clean up. And it might just take, just go in there, turn on the tower, turn on the shower, and be under that shower. By the time you come out of that shower, you are clean. What it means is the blood of Jesus is available. And the grace of God is available. Go purify yourself. Go stay under that blood of the Lamb. And go stay under that grace of God. By the time you go to that chamber, the chamber of prayer, and you come out, and you have been under the blood of the Lamb, under the grace of God, you are pure. 
Number three, the plenitude of power in the Holy Spirit. The plenitude of power, plenitude means the fullness. What you are receiving is not going to be partial power. And your contact is not going to be partial contact. Power. Power. You should remember many years ago when you were younger and even to carry a bucket of water was difficult. But now that you have grown older, carrying that thing, that's not a big deal. What you are not able to carry before you are carried with ease. When you lack power and you lack strength, strength will come. Power will come. Whatever amount of power God has given to anyone before us, we will have. Look at number three. We're looking at Luke chapter 24, verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father unto you. It's coming. But tarry, wait, which ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. You didn't say amen to that one. Every cell in your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, your inner man that was weak will become very strong. The promise of the Father, you will be endued with power from on high. And that power, what will it do? Will it carry bucket of water? More than that. Will it scare up a violent, powerful man? More than that. Will it be able to push a mountain up where it was? More than that. Somebody help me shout the word power. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power. You understand, Christ does not expect any follower of his to be weak, to be a weakling, trembling for anything and for any reason. He expects that every disciple every child of God will be filled with power and when he looks at you and you appear to be trembling and shaking and every news that you hear from home will make you to tremble it's wondering I sent something to you did you get it I sent a registered mail to you from heaven I put your name there did you get it you say I don't know that's what I thought because if you got that mail from heaven it was strengthening every cell in your body and in your brain and in your heart and you will not be trembling like you are trembling from today your time of trembling is over You will be in charge. Every area of your life, an enemy will not be in charge. An enemy of progress will not be in charge. Nobody will have, will hold the key that leads to the gate, that leads to the possession of your life. Your enemy will not hold the key to your gate. 
enemy of progress will not hold the key to your gate. You will hold your key by yourself. And when you get to the gate and you want to enter to possess all your privileges, they will not say, wait for another week, the person holding the key is not around. You are holding your own key. Look at Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. All the power of the enemy. All the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. He had given them that before he promised another higher power. The first one you get. The promised one you will have. I have. I said I have. Acts chapter 1. Reading from verse 8. For ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in Judea, and in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. You will receive power. You will be a witness unto Christ in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, where those religious personalities hold power. And they say, if somebody does not come through us, he cannot get to anybody in Jerusalem. And they say, they are the final authority in Jerusalem. You will have power in that Jerusalem. You will go beyond those people standing at the gate of Jerusalem. And you will go beyond and reach the people inside Jerusalem in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 6. Reading from verse 7. Acts chapter 6 verse 7. And the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied where? You're not reading your Bible. Where? In Jerusalem greatly. And a great company of priests in that same Jerusalem were obedient to the faith. You're going to have power in that same Jerusalem. There are some other powers there. You will conquer them. And in Judea, and in Samaria, Samaria is where you have that one that said he was named Simon the sorcerer. And he already settled down. And he called himself, and he called him the great power. Philip went there and subdued that man anywhere you go jerusalem judea samaria you will subdue them in the uttermost part of the earth barnabas and paul saul was sent forth by the holy ghost and he came to purpose and he came to other places and there was this one having a false name by Jesus and having a false power, the power of sorcery. And while Paul was witnessing, talking to the deputy of that country, by Jesus, the sorcerer, wanting to withstand them, you will have power over them. And Saul filled with the Holy Ghost, 
set his eyes on him and he pronounced the word he overcame the time has come for you to spend the rest of your life in peace purity and power enough of losing all your opportunities you had this opportunity you lost it because you were not sure of yourself you did i didn't have peace about it you could have crossed that goal i didn't have peace about it you could have achieved that thing i didn't feel i wanted to get involved you know i don't like conflict and if i want to go there and if somebody is standing at the gate and then he stares at me and he says what are you looking for where are you going i say i'm sorry sir i'm sorry sir and then i go back if you're always saying sorry to the enemy how will you get to your promised land if you're always saying i'm sorry sir i'm sorry sir for an enemy standing at your gate and you don't clear him out of that place how will you achieve your final solution has now come you have peace you have purity you have power number four the privilege of healing from all sicknesses the privilege of healing divine healing from all sicknesses you see there are times I don't know whether you have heard of this situation before somebody wants to do an exam important exam and that is the time he falls sick he has read he has prepared she has read she has prepared at the point of taking the exam that's when he falls sick eventually he managed but he couldn't get the high grade he had prepared for and eventually he comes out of school and at the time he wants to go for interview that's when he falls sick again go in here might miss his chance you'll not miss your chance <laughs> wants to get married on the time the eve of the wedding so sick he couldn't she couldn't even stand up and eventually at a time after getting married at a time when the possibility is there to have children is when you see or she is sick and she cannot do anything with the husband seek 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 at a critical time that time now is over time of weakness every time something good is about to happen then infirmity that thing is not ordinary that thing that is not ordinary an extraordinary power will remove it from your life in jesus name mark chapter 16 in Mark chapter 16, I'm reading from verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. And these signs shall follow them that believe. And these signs shall follow them that believe. I read that to you over and over for you to understand we think we believe that verse we say we believe that verse but our understanding of that verse is when we are in church and we hear message we believe the promise of god at that time we think only the signs will follow us that's not the limitation 
Jesus did not put that limitation. You see, anywhere you are, if the sun is shining and you are walking on the street, you have your own shadow. Am I right? Every time, your shadow will be following you. You might be in Lagos. You might be in your city. You might be in the village. You might be in another country. It might be morning or noon or afternoon. As long as the sun is shining, your shadow will be following you. You accept that? The sun of righteousness is Jesus. It's always shining. Always shining. And because you are walking in Christ, and you are walking under the sunshine of his righteousness, every time, whether you are in the city, you are in the village, in the morning, in the evening, in church, at home, signs will follow you. Today, the signs will follow you. When we disperse and you are going back home on the way, the signs and the wonders will follow you. In your own house, because Christ is there with you, the signs will follow after you. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name that name works every time, morning, afternoon, evening, at the gate of the temple in Jerusalem, anytime, anywhere, that name is always effective. In my name they shall cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. There are people the saved, the sanctified, they are baptized in the Holy Ghost. At that time, they were baptized in the Holy Ghost. They spoke in new tongues. After that, they abandon the new tongues. They take back the old tongue. I'm not able. I am weak. I never get my prayers answered, old tongue. They are baptized in the Holy Ghost. And once they spoke in tongues, or once in a while in their quiet time, early in the morning, they speak in new tongues. But during the day, the tongues of regret, of defeat, of neg negative talk, the tongues of unbelief is what they speak during the day. And they say they don't understand why signs are not following them. When you speak those evil tongues, evil report, and language of depreciation, that you depreciate yourself, signs and wonders don't follow that kind of tongue. You speak in new tongues. Powerful tongue, positive tongue, excited tongue, faith tongue. Good things will happen to me today. Miracles will come my way today. God will send helpers to me today. I will be an achiever today. When the new tongue continues, tongue of faith, miracles will always follow you. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly sin, it will not hurt them. And they shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Number one, there's a possession of peace through the Savior. Number two, the purity of heart through sanctification. Number three, the plenitude of power in the Holy Spirit. 
Number four, the privilege of divine healing, divine health from all sicknesses. Number five, the provision of all needs by the good shepherd. The provision of all needs by the good shepherd. Provision in your life. Plenty. Prosperity. In your life, in Jesus' name. Ah, do you believe in prosperity? I believe in the provider. And if you believe in the provider, you believe in prosperity. It will provide all you need. It will provide all you need. I can multiply testimonies, but we will multiply your own testimonies. Look at Philippians chapter 4. Reading from verse 19. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. There is no famine in heaven. There's no bad economy in heaven. There is no scarcity in heaven. And God lives in heaven. All you need will come from heaven. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory. Tell me. By Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 8. We're looking at verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Your name is here. For us all, your title is here. How shall he not with him also freely give us tell me all things he will give you all things put god to the test that need you've been having in your life and you have been saying i'll not live without it i can live without that and i can manage my life don't manage ask him today before long, that thing will come. Yeah. Number six, the prayer in his name by all his sons and daughters and servants. The prayer in his name. The prayer that all his sons, daughters, servants pray. The answer has now come. Look at John chapter 14, reading from verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, who is that? He that believeth on me, I said, who is that? That's you. The works I do shall he do also. You don't want it. The works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go to my Father. And then he says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Number seven is partnership and presence for all saints. Is partnership and presence for all saints. 
Look at Matthew chapter 28, reading from verse 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, tell me, tell me, is with you always, even to the end of the world. And everybody shout, yeah. all these sevenfold privileges are yours. It's now for you to claim them. Are you ready? Rise up and claim them. Rise up and claim them. They are yours. It's true, the GCK is flying to Quara State. And yes, GCK 2.0 is ready for you on the date. Thank God, GCK is supported by the Lord of Hosts. And thanks be to God, for GCK is here to save the lost. There's a power coming from Calvary. There's a power coming from the throne. And that power coming from Calvary from the throne will touch you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. I'm Dr. Chitwen Aji an engineer of Taraba State. I went home to, to greet my, my parents. I was hit on the, on the scar, and uh, they decided that I was mad. So when the mother of God came, Dr. Pastor William Kumoyi, I said this is the time for my delivery because uh, I'm a medical doctor. I don't know which medicine I would take at that time. So that was how I came, and the mother of God prayed for me. I was live on this affliction on my scar that I should be mad. Yes, that is on my, on my head. Everything is clear. The hand that I, I used to clean the, the hair with it, it swell up too, but also it's healing. So I have received my deliverance. Our soul is escaped as a bird. Out of the snare of the fowler, the snare is broken and we are escaped. That's your story for this month of June with GCK tagged Supernatural Deliverance through Christ. Because I'm telling you that every poverty is cancelled. Sicknesses are cancelled. All the infirmities and the works of the devil of the flesh, they're cancelled in Jesus' name. Live from Ilori Quara State and scheduled to fly across the world. Their satellite, social media, radio and television. GCK 2.0 Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui ministering supernatural deliverance through Christ for all. Andy Rosier is our guest music minister. Praise. Every song praise to you God. June 23rd to June 28th 
your special appointment for supernatural deliverance from Christ, featuring Ministers and Professionals Conference, and Saturday the 25th for Impact Academy, specially for young eagles to soar. This sixth month gives you six days to soar with Jesus, and together we will fly for supernatural deliverance through Christ. Your testimony will be greater than you ever imagined. The GCK is flying to Quara State. And yes, GCK 2.0 is ready for you on the date. Thank God, GCK is supported by the Lord of Hosts. And thanks be to God, for GCK is here to save the lost. There's a power coming from Calvary. There's a power coming from the throne. And that power coming from Calvary from the throne will touch you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. I'm Dr. Chitwen Aji, an engineer of Taraba State. I went home to, to greet my, my parents. I was hit on the, on the scarf. And uh, they decided that I was mad. So when the man of God came, Dr. Pastor William Kumoye, I said, this is the time for my delivery because uh, I'm a medical doctor. I don't know which medicine I would take at that time. So that was how I came. And the man of God prayed for me. I was relieved from this affliction on my scar that I should be mad. Yes, that is on my, on my head. Everything is clear. The hand that I, I used to clean the, the hair with it is swell up too, but also is healing. So I have received my deliverance. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. That's your story for this month of June with GCK tagged Supernatural Deliverance through Christ. Because I'm telling you that every poverty is cancelled. Sicknesses are cancelled. All the infirmities and the works of the devil of the flesh, they are cancelled in Jesus' name. Live from Ilori Quara State and scheduled to fly across the world. Their satellite, social media, radio and television. GCK 2.0 Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui ministering supernatural deliverance through Christ for all. Andy Rosier is our guest music minister. Praise. Every song June 23rd to June 28th, your special appointment for supernatural deliverance from Christ, featuring Ministers and Professionals Conference, and Saturday the 25th for Impact Academy, specially for young eagles to soar. This sixth month gives you six days to soar with Jesus, and together we will fly for supernatural deliverance through Christ. Your testimony will be greater than you ever imagined. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray that as we sing unto you now, we pray that you accept our praises in Jesus' name. And I pray at the end of the day, Father, our souls will be revived in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God.
worship God. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Jesus liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Hallelujah. He liveth. He liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Savior liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Jesus liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Hallelujah. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, he liveth forevermore. You are the Lord that changeth not, 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 you are the Lord that changeth not. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 You are the Lord that. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 Oh Father, you are the Lord that changeth not. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior, yeah, my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry, hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior, 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 Savior. Hear my humble cry while on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, 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 hear my humble, hear my humble cry. He is able, abundantly able, to deliver and to save. Our God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in Him, who trust in Him. Able, able. Abundantly able to deliver, to deliver, and to save. Able, able to deliver those who trust in Him, who trust in Him. Able, able, abundantly able. To deliver and to save. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in Abundantly able to deliver, to deliver and to save. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Blessed 
Jesus, come down, come and manifest your power. In our lives, in our midst, come and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. You make impossibility possible. You make impossibility possible. You make the impossibility possible. You make impossibility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You make impossibility possible. You make impossibility. Jesus. He make the impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility. Hallelujah. God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, yes, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Cannot lie. He is not a liar. Ah, oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonder-working power in the precious Lord of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, Power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power. There is power. Power, power. In the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. 
Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can save, only you can heal, only you can save, only you can heal, Jehovah. What no man can do, Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. It is well with me. Is it well with you? Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with you. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. For the Lord is seated on the throne. Expect a miracle when you pray. Oh yes, expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray for the Lord is seated on the throne. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a healing when you pray. Expect deliverance when you pray for the Lord is seated on the throne. Hallelujah. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, for the Lord is seated on the throne. Oh, yes, expect, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, for the Lord is seated on the throne. Nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answer prayer. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do.
not do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayers cannot do. Nothing prayer 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 cannot do. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. I need a touch of the Master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Jesus, touch me, touch me. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Jesus, touch me. Jesus, touch me, touch me. Oh, Lord, I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord, Jesus, touch me. Oh, Lord, touch me, touch me, Jesus. Oh, Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God. Unchangeable God. So you finished. Miracle upon everyone and even on our counselors in Jesus' name. I promised you I was going to tell you a story. Should I? The last time, you know, I've been talking about. We went there, we went there, we went there, we were there. And we're having like this same kind of global crusade. There was a minister, a mother, of course a woman, and she had an accident. After that accident, something was wrong with the knee even though she had been healed of the accident the pain was there she couldn't lift the leg move the leg squat and whenever she went to the toilet to ease herself according to her own language she did it like an animal because she couldn't bend the knees. Everything was still. And then uh, the miracle global crusade came. 
You didn't respond to that one. And prayer was made. And after that prayer, 